Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the second instalment of Behind the Scenes. In this episode I'll be talking about one of my more tedious, but unfortunately essential, parts of my video production. Most of my videos start out with a script. Planning exactly what I'm going to say eliminates the problems of doing an unscripted commentary. No ums, no ahs, and altogether a much more structured production. I've been knee deep in planning and script writing for the pilot episode of Behind the Lines, so this topic is particularly appropriate to what I've been doing recently. You can't just sit down and write a good script from start to finish. Planning is an essential part of defining the structure of a video. In my case, planning starts with a blank piece of paper, and I'll lay out the basic sections and subsections, often with numerous revisions. Most videos will have a fairly logical progression, with perhaps some degree of flexibility. This video, for instance, closely mirrors a fairly linear process, so, so planning this was fairly simple. Longer, more complex videos might demand more thought and may require a couple of passes to get right. Regardless, they all start as simple scribbles inscribed on a blank sheet of paper. I find working with an actual pen instead of a text editor at this stage is more flexible, and helps get more abstract ideas into a more manageable form. From these scribbled plans, I'll start to skeleton a script in my text editor of choice. I use one called Sublime Text, principally as it's a familiar interface to me from the, uh, the web development work I do, and it's a nice writing environment to boot. Anything will do, though? from humble notepad to a fully-fledged writing tool such as Final Draft. Here I'll start to type up the planned sections and notes from my initial ideas, forming a solid structure which I can start to develop into a final script. It's during this stage that the script order is at its most pliable. I'll occasionally reposition entire sections if I think it will benefit the flow of the video. I'll also expand a little on my notes, mentioning points I want to be sure to include, or potential phrasings, <laughs> even ideas for puns. After this point, the structure of the script is pretty much finalised, and I've got my notes neatly arranged into sections. <laughs> it's time to start writing. Writing is done by filling in the sections and subsections, replacing my earlier notes with full sentences intended for the final script. I'll split the script into phases, usually it's just one to a few sentences on the same topic. This makes it easier to record the voiceover, giving me a natural place to break. The actual writing isn't necessarily done in order. Quite often I'll start with the easier sections first, and slowly chip away at the tougher to write sections as I get inspiration. Eventually though, I'll replace all of my notes with finished text, and at that point the script is essentially complete. Unrefined and certainly not finished, but complete nonetheless. Without revision, this first rough draft will be full of errors, so rereading and correcting the draft is essential. Even just a single pass will reveal spelling mistakes, grammatical inconsistencies, and clumsy wording. Reading the draft aloud can help iron out the kinks here. If you stumble upon a set of words at this stage, it may cause a problem later on. For example, in the FAMAS script I had to amend the portion where I was talking about the real-life weapon. The words French soldiers is very difficult to say quickly, without the second word becoming shoulders. <laughs> a refinement of the script can be a long task, depending on how critical writing quality is. In most cases I'll just do a couple of passes, as it's enough to catch most flaws. When I'm happy with the final draft of the script, it's time to prep it for performance. I prefer to read from a printed script, as it's easier to manipulate while recording than an on-screen script would be. Printing is simple. I'll just set the script in a fairly large, legible typeface, and ensure that none of the separate phrases are split between two pages. Once printed, the only thing left to do is to read the script and record the voiceover. But I'll leave that until the next video. In the next episode of Behind the Scenes, I'll talk about my audio production techniques, the microphone and the software I use, and how I go from the written word to final voiceover. Thanks for watching, and until then, farewell.